Right now, I'm in Karahan Tepe. This is the sister site to Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. They know that these sites are related because of the huge T-shaped pillars that are found at both sites. They just began excavations here at Karahan Tepe last month in October of 2019. There's around 250 pillars here at this site, and they believe that this potentially might be the settlement of the people that built Gobekli Tepe. The mainstream idea about this place in Gobekli Tepe is that it was built by nomadic hunter and gatherers. Before pottery, before metal tools, before agriculture, before written language, before the wheel was even invented. And places like this is challenging that idea. It's forcing us to re-examine what we thought was possible for humans that were alive at this time. So right now we're driving to Karahan Tepe. Uh, it's like the sister site to Gobekli Tepe. We're pretty close to the Syrian border and we're in the middle of nowhere. We've been driving in the middle of nowhere for a while now. Hello. It is a hen mutter, he not she, but go ugly. Hene, you wouldn't bet she. They say they, they, they believe he doesn't know, but they believe that. Go back to Tepe's temple, and this is where they live. Hobus comes out here, Tim. Within it, yeah, you should have tea. Yeah, and I say you should have a shaka. I can see you can get an idea of how remote this place is. As you can see, there's nothing behind us. All over this hill you see these T-shaped, same T-shaped pillars you find at Gobekli Tepe, like here's one here, there, looks like here. There's 250 of these T-shaped pillars here. 250 T-shaped pillars. I think that's more than they found to go back to Tepe. As you can see here where they've began their excavations. This is only a month of excavations. They, uh, you know, this place has just been sitting here for the last 12,000 years and no one really knew it was here until recently. Or they didn't know what was here until recently. دور الحيط يعني شو يجي من غادي كثير كبير هذه عاد يعني بيت كبير خلص. He believes it was buried so no one ruins it. He says they're probably here for a thousand years. He doesn't know around which time how how long did they keep it out until they, before they buried it, but it was within that one thousand years. He says that um, there's no way they could have just passed by and built all of this. It might have taken them couple of or three generations to just build all of this especially the work here he says it looks like it's harder than Gobekli Tepe because they were building and putting stone on stone instead of stones in sand like in Gobekli Tepe this could be a house he believes these are the first houses of it and people lived in them it's, it was just something built around this uh, human statue like they were worshipping it or something? It's like it's really hard to, to, re to think of what people were thinking 12,000 yeah. years ago. But they built a structure around a statue. بس كان ما بني شيء يعني حوالينا صح يعني هو كان مثل في في الوسط وما من بني يعني نايم يعني معلوم مكسور مو كامل رجلين وشيء it's not it wasn't a full statue it was مو كامل broken or it was maybe it was built that way 
Naim. Naim, Naim. It was laying down. Naim. Why do they think Obekli Tepe was a temple? Yeah, they can them. find evidence of like sort of settlements. Mm -hmm. It says there was more water here, so it makes more sense for them to be settled here. Yeah. Do they find any bones of domesticated animals? What kind of bones? Uh, Crocodiles. Are crocodiles, do they have crocodiles here? They don't have crocodiles here. But they found crocodile bones here? Yes, bones. يعني شيء ما تجي على العقل هي نعبان طلع يعني. things you can't think of you'll find the bones here. cheetah. cheetah. سب أصلا يعني شو يقولون؟ ليون ليون ليون. lion yeah. his grandparents were talking about how like a couple of hundred years ago there were kind there were cheetahs and lions in this area. hundred couple hundred of years ago. so they believe that this is an an unfinished T-shaped pillar. You can see where they began to, to cut the tea, and this is six meters long with some carvings into it. You can see something here. Can't tell what it is, but. Something here. He says the archaeologists have two theories either they cut them out here and, and like, uh, carved the animals and pictures onto them here and then moved them, or they just carved them out and then did the, did the carvings over there. He believes that the, whoever built it 12,000 12, years ago left this to show us how they did it. Did he grow up just here where we were just at? Is this where he lives? Yeah, that's and did he ever think, did they just think this was rocks when they were growing up? Or how long have they known about this? استخبر به إن هالشيء هنا. Oh, 25 years ago they they were thinking that something is here. So يعني طول عمرك أنت تعرف إن في شيء. I know. So his whole life he's he's known that something is here, but he just never knew what it was. Yes. And they find these same holes all over Gobekli Tepe also, right? هاي الحصلهم نفس الأشياء في Gobekli Tepe. هاي نفس نفس. And what do they think they're used for? شو تحس هاي هنا؟ هما زي ما يقولون شيء شلون يعني عمان هن مهن سوا يعني مهن سيمتري يعني شيء تنبلي ما مش حبي حق هذي يعني مشان ايش مسوينهم بلكي عددهم اول عدد بني ادم بلكي بلكي عدد التي بلكي عدد بيوتهم بلكي عدد العيال but they can't know anything for sure. You can hardly make it out, but here there's a snake carved into here, and this was just uncovered a month ago. And the sand was all the way up to the top of this rock here, so this was all buried right here. The snake starts from here. It's all the way wraps right here. And right here is supposed to be a horse. I can't totally make it out. Here's the ears, the head, the back. It comes down. Here's the end of the body. And the legs are here. Go back with Tepe, he doesn't believe. They say this is the temple too? المعبد هذانهن ذا حتى بهن أربعة وعشرين واحد هذانه في مطرح التي ذا. Oh, where where the T-shaped pillars are? He believes that they say that it's a temple, but أنت شو تحس؟ تحس إنه معبد؟ إيه والله عمان اثناعش ألف سنة الواحد يعني بده يفكر شوي يعني 
بدو لازم انه يعرف زين تا يقول انه هني He doesn't want to just make assumptions He doesn't know if they should rewrite history but if all the professors came and gathered and realized that this is where they live because it doesn't make sense for them not to live here if this is what they're doing then then yes if all if all the archaeologists and professors gathered and and decided that they were living here then then yes they could change history are any of them stylized like they are in gobekli tepe they're just uh, seeing how how deep it goes not what's on it not yet there was a t-shirt pillar with a snake on it but they they took it نفس هذه الحين في المتحف؟ ها؟ الحين في المتحف؟ اوكي، اتس ان ذا ميوزيوم نو هي سيز. سينس ذي انونس ذات ذيس كود هاف بين ان امبورتنت سايت، بيبول هاف جست بين لوكينج فور ستاف. هي ثينكس ذير تشيف يوست تو سيت هير اند جست واتش ذيم اول ورك. هذا الدرج. اون ذيس ترن. بس هذا الدرج نعم مردوان درج. It was probably stairs. He said um, they probably ran out of water. Maybe there were no more animals around. No more water. That was just his speculation. like the nicest family. I can't believe he just showed us around for that whole time. It's so crazy just to like have this house and then all of a sudden you have the most important archaeological site in your backyard.